Hello, the Law Cat. It's John Bishop here. Marine has asked me to send you a message because obviously it's difficult times for everybody with not being able to see each other as often and also because of this coronavirus thing. However, I am pleased that now we've got a government who know what they're doing. I mean, you've got a trust in Boris. At last, he's recognised that the virus doesn't get busy until after 10 o'clock, which is a good thing. So do what you want up till 10 o'clock. Obviously, as long as there's not more than six of you, because everybody knows that it's always your seventh mate. That's the dodgy one. He's the one who's most likely to infect you. The one who's the seventh, which is a little bit odd because Kenny used to wear the number seven. I'm not saying that means anything. I'm just putting the fact out. Also, what I like about the fact that the government has now recognised that the virus is so clever, it knows whether you're in England, Scotland, Northern Ireland or Wales, which is why we've all got different rules, because that's how clever it is. It also knows whether you're working at home or at work, because if you're at work and there's more than six years in the building, then obviously the virus still goes, they're at work, let's leave the lads alone, they're busy. And if you're at home, then obviously it's, it's okay if you're at home, provided that when your kid goes to school, they don't bring anyone back because they can have like 30 kids in a class, but they can't have six of them back to play in the park. So it's good that we're on top of all of this, but the biggest problem is clearly the fact that you can't get a test. And that is a problem, and I know it's a worry for all of you. So I've got a test for you. The biggest thing that everyone says with coronavirus is that you lose your sense of smell and taste. So the best thing that you can do is you get a bottle of wine and you just, just pour it in. It can be any wine. It can be white or red. It works with beer or, or whiskey or anything of that nature. And what you do is you smell it. And if you can smell the wine, that's a good sign. That means you probably haven't got coronavirus. But the other symptom is that you lose your taste. So after you've smelled it, you've got a... You've got to have a taste. And see if you can taste the wine. And if you can taste the wine and you can smell the wine, there's a good chance you haven't got coronavirus. But as everybody knows, no test is perfect. And there's been a lot of false positives. So the best thing to do after you've tested yourself once is just test yourself again. Just, just see if you can still smell it. Mm. And see if you can still taste it. And once you've done that and you've got a baseline, the best thing that you can do is to test yourself again. Because everyone says that Boris Johnson himself says the more tests that you get, the better. I mean, even the health secretary, Dominic Raab, who I know looks like someone who's just surprised himself by wetting his own pants because he always looks like that. But even he says, get as many tests as you can. So you're doing what the government's are telling you by testing yourself again. Just, just have that sniff. And then, I can still taste it. And it's important that you keep testing yourself. I mean, I must have tested myself about 45 times last night. And and to be fair, it was, it, you know, I felt okay going to bed, but then I woke up a bit, you know, with cold sweats and a headache. So I don't know whether I'm coming down with something, but I'm going to make sure I, I, I test myself a lot today. And you should do the same. So... Look after yourself, Larkettes, and, and, and be safe, and God willing, we'll all be in one place soon having a laugh. Take care. Bye.